This is a seven minute workout for better knee health. And I'm gonna be showing you the seven best knee exercises that we can really use to help strengthen your knees. So I'm gonna do this as a workout with you in real time. What I would say, if perhaps you struggle with balance, then perhaps have a chair to hand so you can use that. We're gonna do the seven knee exercises and we're also gonna do a little bit of a stretch at the end. So if you want stronger knees, we're gonna get started with a quick little bit of mobility. So the first part, we're just gonna quickly do a warm up, but just follow along. We're just gonna go for doing 10 of these little side steps. Now the point of this is just gonna to help to mobilize through those joints, just warm up those muscles. Just go from one side to the other. Now just give me these little hamstring curls. We're just doing 10 of these, draw those arms in. Just one side to the other. That's good. And now just give me these little heel digs. So we're just mobilizing a little bit more through the ankle joint, bend through with those arms. And this just means we're just gonna be able to perform the exercises better because we've warmed up those muscles and those joints. So we're now ready to start the seven minute routine. So let me just quickly show you the first move. We're gonna start off with simply doing calf raises. So standing in front of your chair, use your hands on the chair if you need to for balance and just raise those heels off the ground. Just raise and lower. So this is exercise one. I want you to just keep doing this. If you want to, you can add in the arms to really work your core a little bit harder if you feel confident doing that. If not, keep the hands on the chair. The arrow on the left represents 45 seconds. That's how long we're gonna be doing this move for. And on the right, you can see the muscle group that we're working. So here, we're particularly really focusing on strengthening through your gastronemius. And this seven minute knee strengthening routine is all about building strength and conditioning the muscles around your knee joint. All right, that's good. Just keeping that going till we've done those 45 seconds. So once we've done that, you can march out. Let's just do a little bit of light marching. This is gonna be good for your heart health and you can just see the next move coming up. So I said, we've got seven different moves today. All of these are gonna build our stronger knees. So if you need to for balance, have the hand on the chair. And all we're doing is simply just do this knee lift, draw the knee up on there. If you need to for balance, hold the chair. Keep that upper body straight. So the muscle here that we're activating, your prime muscle that we're really working, because actually you're engaging lots of muscles, but we're really focusing on the quadricep. And obviously this one is a big player in looking after knee health. And again, do that for 45 seconds. Keep doing that till the arrow reaches the top on the left. Keep it nice and controlled and really visualize where you're working and think how that is gonna help with that knee joint. All the way to the top. That's good, and just march that out. All right, well done. So you can just see the next move. You don't have to move your chair. I've done it just so you can see the exercise. So for this one, we're gonna have the knees slightly bent, lean into the chair a little bit, and just lift one leg laterally from one side to the other. So what we're doing with this lateral move now is we're activating your abductors and adductors. So these are the side muscles that really are key players in looking after good knee health and just go from one side to the other. If you can, try and do it perhaps then without holding the chair for a little bit, so then you're really gonna be engaging your core and actually having a strong core is really important when we want to look after healthy knees. And um, one side to the other, that's good. So all these seven exercises, each one we're just doing 45 seconds and you can see on the little graph there, just exactly highlighting the muscles that you're strengthening and conditioning. All right, well done. So let's just now march out, just get a little bit of cardio and light cardio. So you can see the next move here. We're just going back to doing that little knee bend. So we're really activating through the hamstring now and just engaging that big muscle. So that here, hamstring, really important when we're wanting to strengthen knees. And this is really good also to help just look after your knees. It's also really good, perhaps if you've had an injury, obviously always check with your doctor or physio first, but all these exercises are really safe. Plus we're just using body weight as well. 
And the other great thing is what we're doing is we're actually looking after the joint health, the knee joint health, because movement, what that does is that increases what we refer to as synovial fluid. So that's how we keep these muscles, um, joints, sorry, lubricated. We're just increasing that fluid through the knee joint. All right, well done. And now let's just march it out. So we'll have a little look in a minute at the next move coming up. So for this one, what we're gonna be doing is you're just gonna be doing a very gentle lift the knee up and then extend the leg straight. So then you straighten it. So you lift the knee up and then extend. Lift up and extend. So keeping that going. And this one here also really engages through your core. And the main muscle here though is that quadricep because that's helping extend the leg as we take that foot in front, kicking that in front, but we're doing it in a really controlled manner. So these exercises are really safe. You could do this daily, easy little routine to follow. And the nice thing is you really don't need much space with this. If you haven't got a chair, you could always just place one hand by the wall as well. Keeping that going. And well done. All right, so we've just got two exercises left. Just march out. So we're just working the heart a little bit there. So next move, this one we're going to activate working a little bit more through the glutes, still working the hamstrings. So we're just going to squeeze that one leg behind, but you're taking it behind from the hip. So it's the hip joint we're activating. Draw in the arms as well if you want. So you can see here now glutes and hamstrings. Squeeze that back. And just remember why we're doing this. Exercise, as I always say, is one of the best medicines. It's one of the best ways to look after our health. You know, our body, it's not about trying to change our body. It's just about looking after our bodies. Squeeze that back, keep that nice and controlled. And just keep that upper body straight, feel that working through the glutes. Also feel how we've activated those hamstrings and all the way to the top. All right, that's good. Just march out. And also this gives you a chance just to get your breath back because these exercises will increase your heart rate so you will feel a little bit out of breath. So the next one here really also works here through those core muscles. So just lift that leg straight for me. So very much through those quadriceps, but working through the core. Draw in the arms. If you feel confident to do it without holding onto the chair, then draw those arms in. And I've been a trainer now for over nearly 30 years, dare I say, and I'm all about giving you the best workouts, making health your priority. It's not about how we look. So do if you're not already, do have a look on my YouTube channel. I've got nearly over a thousand different free at home workouts. I'm all about teaching us how we can move at home for free. Keeping that going all the way till we reach the top on there. That's good. And just feel those legs working so your knees are getting stronger. Now what we do, let's just carry on marching because we're just going to get that heart rate back down a little bit, which is really important. We never want to just stop. And what is important to do is that we're now going to stretch those muscles because what we've done is we've now worked them. So stretching is really key. So first stretch we're going to do is stretching through your calf muscle gastrocnemius. Just step one foot back and just where that arrow is pointing, you should feel that stretch there and just hold, lean into it. Again, if you need to for balance, have a hand on the chair, both toes pointing forwards. Feel that stretch. And that's going to lengthen out that calf muscle, also known as the gastrocnemius. Step the opposite foot back, lean into it. And stretching is really important. It helps prevent injury. It also helps to realign the muscles and your body. And that's so key. And coming up. And let's now do a hamstring stretch. So hands are on the bent leg and just feel that stretch through the back of the upper thigh. Um, exercises I would suggest to avoid to prevent knee injuries. Key one, which I see a lot on YouTube, are jumping lunges. If you ever see jumping lunges, just avoid them. Those can um, cause so many knee issues. And lunges are good, but what I would say the best lunge to do is always, if you're going to do a lunge, do a backward lunge and just do exercises that feel comfortable for you. Now, doing that quadriceps stretch here, make sure the supporting knee is bent. I'm showing you an alternative if you find that too awkward. 
to lift the leg, then you can do that alternate move up in the left. And let's just now take that to the opposite leg. And do let me know in the comments down below if, um, if you've had any issues and if this has helped, because I'm really determined to give you those best stronger knees. Let's get in good knee health. Now, let's take that from one side, just go do a little stretch. This is working now, a little bit more through your inner thighs. And let's just now feel that through the other side. And as said, this is really a lovely routine that you can just do daily to look after your precious knees. So there you go, there is your high five and your knees are gonna love you and me for doing that. And as your qualified trainer, I'm all about giving you the best workouts to be in your best possible health. And I remember it's about health and it's about investing in our future health. So well done and I'll see you and your knees back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.